Officials are monitoring high tides on Tybee Island. Emergency crews are warning people to pay attention to the roadways for standing water and potential flooding. WSAV News 3's Jessica Coombs was out on the island today and gives us a closer look. As soon as we got to the top of the walk to the beach, it was like somebody stole the beach. The Chatham Emergency Management Agency is monitoring the high tide out on Tybee Island and other areas along coastal Georgia. They say if the levels get as high as they're anticipating, they may have to close Highway 80. We are expecting tides this week to be high, higher than usual. Uh, we are expecting some tides tomorrow to be up around that 10.4 range as well. So last year there was a lot of paving improvements that GDOT did. So we're really anxious to see how uh, that roadway will hold up to a tide that reaches levels that high. GDOT recently raised the low points in the road up eight inches. And that has helped tremendously. A couple of years ago, we had to close the road several times at high tide, but typically uh, now it doesn't even get to the shoulder. When they designed the repaving, they designed it to withstand up to 10 feet of a tide. Literally have never seen beach erosion this bad out here. And, you know, after they've done all that, you know, the effort to revitalize the beach, it's sad. Last year, 1.3 million cubic yards of sand were distributed onto Tybee Island's beaches. City Manager Sean Gillen says they are concerned about the tide levels, but one of the things they expect every year during hurricane season is beach erosion. We have nursed the beach several times, and every time you re-nourish it, it erodes back. It's just a natural process. We expect it, you know, to lose 20 to 30 percent of the beach the first year. The beach and the berm and the dunes all are here to protect us from uh, hurricane storm surge designed to last, you know, 10 years or so. Reporting on Tybee Island, Jessica Coombs, WSAV News 3, on your site. And you can get live storm updates by downloading the WSAV weather app or by heading over to WSAV.com slash weather for the latest from our Storm Team 3 meteorologist. Speaking